Hey there, in this video I am going to show you the carving of mandibular second premolar two cusp type. Now we have to take a wax block and mark the midline on each surface. Also label it as labial, lingual, mesial and distal. Now for the crown length we have to take 8.0 mm and 14.5 mm for the root length. Now we'll divide the crown part in three equal thirds that is occlusal, middle and incisal third. Now for the mesial distal diameter of the crown at cervix we have to take 5.0 mm and at the contact area 7.0 mm. Now we have to draw a line like this to get a trapezoidal shape and we'll do the same for the lingual side. Now we will remove the excess part over here. We have got the trapezoidal shape and for the premolar added step is for the mesobuccal and distobuccal cusp. So we have to draw a line like this and we'll remove the extra part. Now for the buccolingual diameter of the crown we have to take 8.0 mm at the contact area and 7.0 mm at the cervix. Now we'll carve the buccal aspect and the mandibular second premolar presents a shorter buccal cusp than the first premolar with the mesobuccal and distobuccal cusp ridges showing angulation of less degree. And other features are similar as the first premolar.
base of the lingual surface the lingual lobes are developed to a greater degree which makes the cusps longer and the less of the occlusal surface may be seen from this aspect in the two cusp type the single lingual cusp development attains equal height with the three cusp type it has no groove but it shows a developmental depression distolingually where the lingual cusp rejoins the distal marginal ridge the round or two cusp type differs considerably from the three cusp type when viewed from the occlusal aspect uh, it is a true typal form of the two cusp type the outline of the crown is rounded lingual to the buccal cusp ridges and some lingual convergence of mesial and distal sides occurs although no more than is found in some variations of the square type the mesial lingual and distal lingual line angles are rounded and one well developed lingual cusp is directly opposite the buccal cusp in a lingual direction a central developmental groove on the occlusal surface travels in a mesial distal direction and this groove may be straight but is most often crescent shaped and the central groove has its terminal centered in mesial and distal fossa which are roughly circular depressions having supplemental grooves and depressions radiating from the central groove and its terminals the root from the buccal aspect is broader mesial distally The lingual portion of the root is smoothly convex for most of its length. The root is longer and in most cases slightly convex on the mesial surface. However, the convexity is not always present. the apex of the root is usually more blunt on the second premolar the carving for the mandibular second premolar of two cusp type if you like this video please like share and subscribe and press bell icon for the notification for new video updates